Well, radiation therapy has been used for more than 100 years now to cure cancer. And the general idea is that radiation is pretty good at high doses killing tumor cells, and the way it does that is by damaging the, the DNA in those uh, tumor cells. We have to think about two aspects to the radiotherapy. One is the physics, and that's getting as much energy as possible into the tumor and as little into the surrounding healthy normal tissue. But there's also the biology, that the, we want a radiation which will be much more efficient at actually damaging the, uh, the tumor and also preventing tumor metastases. The conventional photon radiotherapy is sometimes extremely efficient, but sometimes there are limitations. And the biggest one is that some tumors are not very sensitive to the conventional X-ray radiotherapy. An ion is, is basically a tiny particle. One, one type of particle is a proton, for example. Another type of particle is a carbon particle. These types of particles have been used much more recently to treat cancers. You can actually pour much more damage into the tumor than you can with uh, conventional X-ray radiotherapy. I think we've got some pretty good evidence that uh, carbon ion radiotherapy really does work and is very good at some of the hard to treat tumors like pancreatic uh, cancers and, and brain tumors. We really don't understand, we don't know the mechanisms, what is happening, why are heavy ions better than conventional uh, radiotherapy. So the big grey cylinder that you see at the back here, that's original particle accelerator and all the studies we've done up to date have been using carbon ions and protons and helium ions generated with that particle accelerator. Up till now, we've been limited by the fact that we don't have enough energy in our charged particles. What we've been studying so far are the effects on single tumor cells. But the blue device that you see in front of there, that's the booster. That takes the particles that come out of the original accelerator and boosts them to higher energies, higher speeds. Those particles can penetrate uh, into three-dimensional tissues, and so we're really able to start to study mechanisms in real-life uh, three-dimensional tumors. We're hoping that this new type of radiotherapy will be able to treat cancer metastases better than, uh, than we could before.